hair and makeup and that kind of thing. So she always is like finding these weird books. I mean, <laughs> it's sort of a, a year round tannish, I guess, you know, tanning beds freak me out. I feel like I'm in an easy bake oven. So this is a natural tub. So anyways, um, I'm going to show you how to check out to see what your coloring is. And um, it's most people that have more of a violet to a blue, um, they would look good in more of a um, violety red tone. Um, and they would look more with the ash that everybody wants to talk about, blonde. So do you see the coloring in my vein? It is actually like more of a green tone. That would indicate that I am more of a warmer, complected person. Taking this ash tone thing to like a different level. Extreme. But I mean, I have, I'm on edge. Like sometimes I can wear a little ash, but like I just can't have it all over. Um, and I understand like the ash blondes and da, da, da. nobody really needs orange, but you can have like more of a honey color in your hair. using you're doing your client a disservice because of their skin types do not need to be having these ash tones used on them um, like for instance me um, anyways I have an ashier lipstick on which I think looks horrible so I'm about to show you the difference between lipsticks and like the ashier tones of lipsticks so look at this Ew. See what I mean? Check it out. Coral's where it's at on me, right? And most of the time when you go to stores, you'll see part of the lipsticks over here are more of like the cooler tones. And part of the lipsticks over here are more of the ashier tones. And if look dead maybe it's the mutt features I, I'm not sure what color this is um, I'm extremely tan year round um, my dad sort of looked at the mafia um, I I've never been extremely white white whitish but I've never been extremely dark dark darkish I'm not mixed but I'm not sure what this is 